This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. And Capcom. <laughs> It just keeps getting worse and worse every time. It's like... It's like... <laughs> you have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. Is this the right... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the... Is this the right one? <laughs> Even. Uh oh. Hey, what's this? Dormitory key. Check. Aha! Room 3. Okay, this is the correct file. Just had to make sure, and. Oh, no, don't get out the gun. Get out the knife. It'll last you longer. Huh! 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 Alright, sorry about that guys, I just had to make sure that the audio was all synced with the video and everything. Um, I'm gonna leave the shotgun for now, we don't need it. I don't think we'll need the... we'll probably need the lighter in a little bit, but it doesn't look like we'll need it now. Get used to these controls again. I really should set up a second file that I can just play by myself and get used to the controls all over again. Alright. Did I move this back? Yeah, okay. I didn't save after we checked out the plant. Now I'm gonna check in here. Before we do anything, guys. Oh, by the way. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with MioXFu. Now, before we go on and do anything, I'm gonna just check in this room quick see if my worst fears have been confirmed and the spiders actually have respawned. Okay, it doesn't look like they have. It doesn't look like there's anything here at all. Thank... Thank goodness. Praise be the day that there are no new giant spiders hopping all up in my... in my face like that. <laughs> Alright, but we do have to go into the wasps room. I do know that. Now, what I've been hearing, um, there's been a couple of people who have told me that you should play the GameCube version of this. And, oh no, we were at the right room. And I've been hearing, yeah, people consider the GameCube version scarier than this. Excuse me. Um... You have used the 003 key. It's now useless. That's nice. Yeah, discard it. And let's go in. And from the last video, we know that the zombie's in the bathroom, so I'm gonna check that room last. Um. But I am gonna get my pistol ready. But anyway, um, people have been telling me that, yeah, the GameCube version of the GameCube remake is a lot scarier and stuff like that, so I'll probably check it out, but I'm not going to switch it for this Let's Play, because I really like this version, and I like this version because it's... Oh, a row of red books. There's one white book. Will you take it? Why, I will, Jvolt Report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the Tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16, one of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt, I wanted to say J-Volt, 
In our calculation, it will take less than 5 seconds to destroy Plant 42 if we put the Debye Jolt directly on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V Jolt, but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Be sure to put on your lab coat, your safety goggles, and be sure to do this experiment underneath a chemical hood with correct ventilation. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. UMB number 2, red also known as Red 40, NP003 purple, UMB number 4, green, yellow 6, also known as I can't remember which dye is yellow, yellow, UMB number 7, white, UMB number 13, blue, stimulating smell, also known as smelling salts, blue number 2, and I don't remember what else. Vigil UMB number 16 is brown. So I'm guessing we have to mix to get brown. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to take that book. It has been filed. Now a book is missing. I wonder what we have to put into that. All right, I'm just checking these things to make sure that the desk is locked. Of course it is. Right, well, we might as well take care of that zombie and clear up the room before we go on. Because I'm guessing that flips forward to reveal a secret passage or something like in Scooby-Doo. Come on. Oh, perfect. Well, we wasted a bullet, but... Come on. Oh, God! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Cheap bastard. Yeah, we're fine, whatever. Oh my god, we're carrying so many bullets right now. It makes me feel all safe inside. Dust collects inside. The bath towel is dirty. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, I'm not playing this game because it's scary. I mean, yeah, it's scary at some points, like with the spiders and the snakes, but honestly, I'm not scared by the... I was more scared by the small snakes than I was by the giant by Snakey, to be perfectly honest, um, just because I wasn't expecting them, and I'm... Snakes dropping from trees that may or may not be poisonous in a deadly mansion kinda, kinda freaked me out for good reason. Actually, I'm gonna push this too, see if I can push it. No, I cannot. Okay. But yeah, I'm guessing this flips out in... Oh, we need the red book. I'm guessing this flips out in a Scooby-Doo type style when we put that blank red book in it. Um, that's interesting though. You don't see many puzzles where you have to put in a certain type of book in order to open a door. In, in order to open a hidden bookcase, you gotta think like, how does it know that the right red book is being put in? <laughs> does it have some sort of like color scanning thing? Um, device in the bookcase. Yeah, whatever. Resident Evil logic. Quickly learning that that is a thing unto its own self. <laughs> oh, right there. That's the door. Um, but anyway, I'm playing this for the camp more than anything else. Like, did you, did you, any of you even see that opening video? That was hilarious. I love that. I really do. I'm not I'm not being facetious at all. I really, really love the opening sequence. It's probably one of my favorite video game openings now. Because you know they're not being serious. Nobody could... Well, people could seriously make videos that bad. But... Do I think that Capcom would have seriously made a video that bad? No. I mean, this is not the first game that they made. If this was the first game that Capcom made, that would make sense. Well, it is Capcom after all. No, it's a joke. Just checking my time because I, I didn't actually time this. So, um, we're a little over five minutes. Uh, my timer's saying ten, but I did some stuff in the beginning. So I'm going to say we're at like eight minutes, but I'm going to go for another ten. 
You guys get 10 more minutes of me running into walls as Chris Redfield. Yay! <laughs> Uh, yep, see, right there. Alright. I wonder where the missing book is. Hmm. Nothing up my sleeve. Oh wait, yeah, there's a red book up my sleeve. Oh, okay, it moves that one. I was right, thinking that you could move that one. I thought it was going to flip open this bookcase, though. Uh, get out the pistol. Of course. Not so dumb to start running into these rooms with just a knife drawn. Oh, hello, cutscene and plant 42. Okay, so Chris is just gonna, you know, go in there. Okay, we're Rebecca again. <laughs> Chris! Re Rebecca. You look. No, it's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You could. Whoa! Chris! You look like you might be Take this file with you. in some Use sort of trouble. In, it in order to make the potion and kill the root. Becca, please. Chris! <laughs> don't die! It's just a mild inconvenience, right? You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Alright, so it looks like we're headed back to the roots. Oh, run through here, because we get the bees! The bees! To deal with still. <laughs> But actually, this sounds like a good place to let leave it off for the night, for, well, today. I wonder if we can just take our time getting, <laughs> uh, getting everything to him. Oh, the way she walks. <laughs> it's so silly. Well, good thing we took care of the pump so we don't have to deal with the shark again, I hope. I'm gonna grab a couple of herbs, just in case. Oh, Chris has got all our ammo, too, so... I really need to start leaving some of it in the supply crate, because if we run into more than one zombie, she's pretty much screwed. If we run into one zombie, she's pretty much screwed. That girl looks like she could pay take maybe like a gust of wind before collapsing. <laughs> oh, but I'm so frail and weak, I don't think I can climb down this ladder. But no, I'm probably going to check out the GameCube version remake of this, because it does look good. But I mean, I love this game for its bad graphics. Creepy sounds again. <laughs> okay, just making sure there's no... Nobody around, cor around the corner. Um, no, I'll probably play the GameCube remake at some point, but I'll... I'm not gonna play it for the it's not gonna be the same as this, you know? This this has just got something about it. Something that just makes it almost adorable. <laughs> uh it's like it's like baby's first attempt at making a zombie game. Anyway, um or a scary game. <laughs> it does have some scary parts though. But anyway, this looks like a good place to leave it off. Next time, hopefully Rebecca will be able to make UMB. 16. <laughs> All right, so I'll t I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play. Well, I won't see you. I'll Yeah, whatever. I can't think of a good variant. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play. Let's blindly play Resident Evil with me, Oix Fu. <laughs> Take it easy. It's been so long since I've said that that I had to think for a sec. Take it easy. <laughs>